You know, I've seen people come in, they're, they're weak, they say, no, you could never help me. And then they come in a couple months later and they're out of their wheelchair and walking. And it's like, tell them, see, you didn't believe me, did you? <laughs> said, no, I didn't. My name is Heather Kiska and I'm a neurosurgeon at Beacon. I remember coming home from school when I was in elementary school and telling my mom that that's what I was gonna be when I grew up. And she said, okay, well, study real hard. <laughs> and parts of it that I enjoy are really the teaching and dealing with the patients. People do much better when they understand what's going on. And so that's kind of one of my primary goals is I don't wanna do surgery on anybody if they don't understand what I'm doing it for. I'm from Green Bay, Wisconsin, so it's a requirement that I'm a Packers fan. I'm, now that I'm a mom, I don't get to watch as many of the games as I used to because my four-year-old has no interest. But I subspecialize in neurosurgical oncology. It is not something that there is a lot of in this area. It's very rewarding to sort of get people back on their feet or back to work. I like solving problems and that's kind of what medicine is all about and especially dealing with the nervous system. People come in with a problem whether it's pain or weakness or numbness or you know something that's really interfering with their life and my hope is that I can figure out what the problem is and then fix it. One of my philosophies is that I operate on people not pictures. Everybody's different inside and out. We have as far as technology goes the latest equipment we have the O-arm, which is basically an intraoperative CT scanner that allows us to see exactly where the bones are in a case, which has really helped decrease the size of the incision because you don't have to actually see it if your navigation is accurate. The idea is to get them up and moving around very soon after surgery, even the night of. I have people come in and say, I wish I would have done this sooner. I think it's really a privilege if I sit down and think about it, that you can have a huge impact on actually saving people's lives. That's what keeps me going.